Hey, what's up guys, Faisal here and welcome back to another video on our channel Billion Dollar iTech. So friend of mine was trying to format and reinstall macOS on his iMac. But after formatting his hard disk while he was trying to reinstall the macOS Catalina, he encountered an error. So as you guys can see when I initiated the installation process, right after that the following error pops up. It says the target volume is a part of an incomplete system and cannot be installed too. When he approached me for SOS help, I agreed and the first thing that I checked under disk utility on how did he format his iMac. I immediately figured that the issue that was causing the error, he only formatted the Apple file system volume which is APFS. APFS or Apple file system allows space to be shared between volumes on a disk. If a single APFS partition or container has multiple volumes, the container's free space is shared and can be allocated to any of the volumes as needed. To solve this error, you will need to format or raise data from the whole disk rather than the APFS volume. To do so, from the left menu on top where it says View, click on the drop down menu and select Show All Devices. You will notice under the internals the whole disk is appearing, including its volume. Now, let's format the disk. Select the disk from the left menu where it says Apple HDD. Then click on Erase. I hope you have backed up your data before you erase everything. Let's name it anything you want and select the following format option where it says macOS extended journal. Scheme, leave it as it is, GUID partition map and the last thing is to click on erase. The formatting will take few seconds. And you will see the following message by saying the format is successful. Click on done. Now at this stage we have properly formatted the disk. Like in earlier case my friend has only formatted a single volume which I believe was causing the error. Now let's close this window and start the installation process again. And hopefully this time we will not see the following error. Select the option which says reinstall macOS and then click continue. Continue. Click agree. Agree. This is the only drive that shows up. Click on this and click install. Alright. From here, it will probably take around 40 minutes. So I'm gonna fast forward most of this installation process as I want you guys to see the installation run successfully. Once you have rectified the error in the initial stage as we did. If you guys notice along the way of reinstalling the macOS Catalina, it didn't show any message. And that's how you will know that this time the installation is working. By the way, it took me over an hour from the beginning until now. So that's fine as long as the error doesn't appear again. Alright, once you are on this particular screen, the remaining settings are pretty straightforward, which you will need to create your password, select your theme, Siri and the other settings. Finally, here we are. You guys can see the installation of macOS Catalina is successfully done and it's working perfectly fine. Hope this video helps you. If so, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host Faisal. Until then, peace.